Hi there and welcome back to this video course. In this video we're going to create our very first controller and we're going to make use of routes. So we're going to also build some routes here and we're going to use route model binding to have everything really working together like it should. So let's dive into it. Okay, so to create our very first controller here, we're also going to use Artisan again. So PHP Artisan, and we're go oops Artisan, and we're going to use uh, the make functionality again for controller. So make controller, and then the name of our controller controller. But we can add some flags to that, right? So, for example, make controller, and let's call it person controller. And I already did this. Um, in, yeah, in the past. So it's actually going to give me some uh, options here. So if I go for uh, an empty one um, like that, um, yeah, this will only create a controller with a class name of person controller and that will be empty. But I can choose to add dash dash resource and that will actually add all the CRUD functions for me, like a function for index, a function for um, create, uh, store, show, edit, update, and destroy. But those will take in an ID for edit, an ID for update, and an ID for show and destroy. But we can also directly bind a model to that. So model equals person. And then we can have the model model loaded directly into our functions. Let's hit enter here and this will create uh, the needed files. So in here you open up app, HTTP, controllers and this creates a new person controller. So app uh, use models person is already imported for us and as you can see instead of an ID here we have person and it's a cost of person. All right, so this means our model, so our function is directly aware that this variable here is a model called person. All right, great. So let's actually print out, um, yeah, let's say dump or die test here. And I want to navigate to this, um, yeah, this function. So normally I would suggest adding uh, a people into the menu here. So we're actually going to go for uh, the resources folder here, views. And we installed this with Breeze. So in here we have the components of Breeze. Um, and in the layouts we have navigation and here we have the navigation at the top. So I'm just going to copy this. And this route, will I want it to be person.index because I'm going to name it that. And if the route is person and everything after that, so a, an asterisk behind it. So if the route starts with person, then um, I want it to be uh, active. And people, this can be quite um, confusing because it's people and the, the, the model and the controller are person. Let's save that. All right, actually we're now going to add this new route. So. Let's go over to routes and web PHP. And in here, let me close this off here for a bit. Uh, in here we have all the routes that are available for us. Um, and yeah, let's actually add the new routes that we want to add. So routes, and what I like to do, I like to use controller groups. So controller, and I'm going to use the person controller, and that's a class, all right. Um, but this won't work. Uh, this kind of array thing here will work, but having it this bound into the controller here, we need to import it as well. But what I like to do, I like to actually add this to the route service provider. So that's in providers, route service provider. What I like to do, I would like to add a protected. So protected and namespace. Because all the routes that we are going to use, sorry, all the controllers that we're going to use uh, are actually located in the namespace app HTTP controllers, like that. And we're talking about web routes, so I like to add here, hey, use the namespace, and the namespace is this namespace, because I actually created it here, so namespace 
yeah, you, you get the picture, right? Let's save that and head over to the web routes again. And in here, um, I want to add um, a prefix and that prefix will be um, the thing that defines in the URL what uh, route it should take when the request comes via an URL. So let's call it person. And we're also going to give it a name and the name is actually the same thing as a prefix, but whenever we call the route in our uh, application, like we did here, route person is the name and index will be the name of everything in our group. All right, so this will be person again. And actually I want uh, all these things to be protected uh, only for authenticated users. So middleware, and that's the power here of, um, of Laravel that we can just easily say, hey, this controller group here, all these routes that are inside here must be authenticated. All right, so let's uh, add the name group here. And actually we're going to call a function and that function, um, there we go. And I'm going to add a semicolon here. And in here we're going to actually um, Put all the routes that we need. So start off with a get route and this will be available at slash. So if we navigate to our URL slash person slash and nothing added after that, then we're going to hit this route. And this will be uh, using the index function in our, uh, in our um, controller. So head over to controller, this index function here. And we're going to name it index. So name will be, and we must be sure to add the dot here because it will be person. And then we chain this name together with this name. So person dot index. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So if I, we're going quickly going to check this with PHP artisan, artisan um, route column list. And in here, we, in here we have all the routes that are available for us. And let's check uh, person. All right, we get we have a get here for person and person.index and it's available for us. And this will call person controller index. All right, great. And let's actually test this, right? Uh, so let's head over to our application and we added this. If we click that, we have our test. And that's actually what we did. And if we check the um, URL, it's contact app test slash person. Great. Let's actually add all the rest of our uh, routes that we need. So um, it's actually a get for create. So, and I'm actually going to uh, show you a trick here. If you hit command D, you can select the other one beside it. If you hit command D again, you hit the other one and so on. And now you can actually type create multiple times. Um, but I don't want that in this case. I actually want create to be uh, only for one route here. And then in here I can use uh, store and store will be a post. All right, let's add a few others here. And instead of store, I want uh, edit. But for edit here, I actually want to use route model binding. So I'm going to add curly braces person. All right, that may, seems, um, may seem a bit confusing and it's a get route. Um, and let's get rid of these two again uh, and actually copy this again. And this will call the update and the update is a put. And then we have the final one, uh, the destroy and destroy will be a delete route. All right, let's actually check that again with artisan PHP write list. And then in here, you can see we have a few new ones, right? We had, we had this one person. We have a new get for person create, a post for store, a delete for the destroy of the person, um, a get again for the ed edit and a put for the update. That seems Correct. All right. Let's check this out with uh, our controller functionalities. All right. So what I want to do here, I want to actually um, 
grab all the people. So people will be person and I want to have them all. So all like that. Um, and I want to uh, return this with a view. So we're actually going to create a view for this. So let's head over to views here. So views, layout, and actually let's copy the dashboards and let's save that into a new file like that. Um, and I'm quickly going to create a new folder here called, um, how should we call it, uh, person. All right, person. And this will be the index.blade. So this created a folder for us, person with an index blade. And we're actually going to um, say here, uh, people and in here, uh, let's actually, uh, well, let's add a for each. And this for each, um, I'm going to take in the variable people and we're going to create that in a few seconds here. And I'm actually going to um, have every single item in the people uh, variable as a person. And in here, I want the person name to be displayed. So person arrow and let's say first name like that. All right, now let's actually do this. And by do this, I mean, um, add that view to our function here. So return, we're actually going to return the view, return, and the view is called person because it's in the person folder and dot index because it's the index dot blade dot PHP. And I want to chain uh, the width here and width will be the, a, key, a key value pair of person. No, it's people, sorry, people. And actually this people, and we can actually, yeah, do it like this. But what I like to, to do is I like to just, yeah, directly put um, my data in here and this will save me a few lines of code. There we go. And a semicolon at the end and there we go. All right, so let's test this out. Fingers crossed here, refresh. And there we have it. We have Ricardo, Marley, Diamond, Frederick, Abigail, John, and Eurice. And if you check this here in the uh, debug bar, we have seven people, actually seven person models loaded. And the query is select everyone from people where people um, delete that is null. All right, so that's how we create controllers in Laravel and how we actually create our routes. Um, well, in the next video, we're going to expand this with all the CRUD functionality in our controller. And yeah, I want to be able in the next video to create new um, people, um, edit them and even delete them. So see you in the next video.